Now, if you know the changes to Blender modifiers, to installing Blender modifiers, to auto smooth, etc., you can skip this video. But if you don't, stick around because it's quite important. Because you know things are different in 4.1 and 4.2 Blender versions. So if you're working in new Blender versions, things may look a bit differently. So I'll explain everything in this video. So first of all, let's talk about modifier menu. If you're working in 4.1, 4.2 or above, then you will be adding modifiers through this menu. So you click here and you're going to have a sub menu and then you go into sub menu and you look for modifiers you want to add. So for example, bevel going to be under generate, but for example, weighted normal are going to be under normals. And that's actually a little bit different than the 4.1 because 4.1, let me show you because I have it installed. Uh, this menu is slightly different. So you still have this menu, but the order of modifiers is different. So for instance, normals are at the bottom and you only have smooth by angle, which is auto smooth, the old auto smooth in here, okay? And they switch auto smooth from being an option you add through a menu, which I'll show you in a minute, uh, to a modifier. So now it's actually a modifier, right? Running on your mesh. So if I add it, you're gonna have a modifier running on your mesh. Now, before we go into auto smooth, let me finish about the menu. Now, if you don't like this modifier setup, you can install a mod it's a free mod that's going to revert to this old modifier menu and you can get this mod online it's called old modifier menu you can go on you know gumroad and get it for free and you know you're gonna you're gonna have this old menu back i would suggest you do it because i think personally you know after years of and years of working in blender this is far more intuitive and easy and also you don't have to you know click multiple times now, if you wanted to, you could actually use the search function to search for modifiers, but honestly, this is just additional step. And I would recommend reverting back to the old menu, okay? So that's that. Now, let's talk about auto smooth because that's really important. Auto smooth is a parameter you add to your mesh to tell Blender which edges are going to be considered sharp and which are going to be considered smooth. And you need to add two parameters in order to make it happen. One of them is auto smooth and the other one is shade smooth. So if I'm going to shade smooth this mesh, which means I'm going to remove all this faceting, right? And shade all the, all the mesh. So shade smooth. So right click and shade smooth. You see the blender going to try to average between all these planes. And it's just a blob of nothingness. So in order to define which edge is going to be considered sharp, I need to add auto smooth. And now in blender 3.6, all you needed to do is simply right click and add shade auto smooth, which will do two things shade smooth and add auto smooth. And auto smooth is actually available here under this tab. Now you cannot see it in here, it's just gone, right? So in Blender 4.1, you are adding it through a modifier. This function actually did nothing. Now in 4.2, they fixed that. So you can add auto smooth modifier to the mesh by right clicking and adding shade auto smooth you see you're gonna have it in here now technically you don't really need to shade it smooth either because what you can do you can actually click here on ignore sharpness and this is gonna do the same thing it's gonna shade the mesh smooth all right so this is how you add auto smooth to the mesh in blender 4.2 and above now 4.1 is a bit different so if you're using 4.1 um, and if you want to add auto smooth to your mesh, what you need to do is simply go here and add it through a modifier. So here, all right, and then ignore sharpness. Do not use this. This will do nothing. All right, that just that's broken. So don't worry about it. Now in previous Blender versions, simply follow the content of the course because that's how you how you do it. Now if you're using add-ons like hard ups and box cutter, this modifier is going to be added automatically. So if you're working in, for example, 4.1 or 4.2, and I'm going to, let's say, go with hard ups, which is installed here, press Q and add a bevel, you can see that auto smooth is going to be added to the mesh. And it's actually auto smooth added by hard ups. You can see that two tiny exclamation marks in the front. And this can change in future versions of hard ups and box cutters. So pay attention to changes. But hard ups will always add auto smooth automatically to your mesh and also take care of the modifier stack order. Now, talking about modifier stack order, this is really important, okay? If you're going to work in 4.2, AutoSmooth actually comes with a pin, which means it's going to be pinned at the bottom of a stack. So watch, if I right-click and add Shade AutoSmooth, you see the tiny pin icon? 
this is actually going to pin this modifier at the very bottom of the stack and that's not really ideal because you want this modifier above weighted normals and I'll show you why. So I'm going to add a bevel here, right? And I'm going to, you know, create, I don't know, three segments and hold shift and make it a bit smaller. You can see the shading problem here, okay? That is basically caused by a lack of weighted normal modifier, okay? We need to add this modifier to the stack. So go to normals and weighted normal. Now in 4.1, weighted normal, I think it's under generate or edit. I think it's edit. But uh, it's a different place, but you know, you'll find it, okay? So wait a normal, right? And this one should be at the very bottom. Because watch what happens when I'm going to add a boolean here. So I'm going to actually run a, you know, box cutter boolean. Um, so I don't have to sort it out. Now, first problem is that uh, hard ops and box cutter are going to add their own modifier to the stack. So I'm going to remove it temporarily to make it more simple. But like I said, if you're working with these add-ons, you don't have to add this modifier. So don't worry about it. But you can still see that the shading is a little bit wonky, right? It's just not, you know, there's something wrong. The reason is because a weighted normal modifier has to be at the bottom of the stack at all times. So watch what happens when I'm going to uncheck this and move it above weighted normals. Boom, fixed. You see what I mean? So even though they added this pin, it's still, you know, it's still not good enough. You need to move it manually by hand, which is again why we suggest working with hardups and box cutter because they will take it, you know, take care of it for you automatically, okay? So this is what you need to remember in terms of auto smooth changes. So again, instead of this being applied to the mesh, it's actually a modifier. Now to show you how this works in 3.6, it's a bit different. You right click, you shade auto smooth, which will add this parameter here on the normals. Like I told you, this tab is gone from 4.1 and 4.2. And you can adjust the auto smooth here and you don't need to shade smooth because shade smooth is actually included in this operation this does two things okay it shades your mesh smooth and also adds auto smooth so that's 3.6 and 4.0 actually has the same system uh, 4.1 and 4.2 have modifier so remember that now the last thing we're going to be talking about is how to add add-ons to your blender up to blender 4.1 you're going to be adding add-ons just the way we showed you in any tutorial at all course. Now in Blender 4.2 and above, unless this is going to get changed, things are a bit different. First of all, in order to install any add-ons that come with Blender, you need to be connected to internet. They do not come with Blender anymore. You need to allow online access by clicking this, right? So you align online access. Now you can actually install add-ons onto your machine. So now, if you want to install any add-ons that come with Blender, you need to simply type it in here, like for example, Bull Tool, right? And then instead of clicking here, like you used to in 3.6 and 4.0 and 4.1, you click here and it's going to download it and install it, all right? Then, you know, let's say Loop Tools, right? The same thing, install it, right? So downloads and installs. Now, missing add-ons, if you have another version of Blender installed and you, and you share the, the, the Blender versions, share the config file, the Blender will tell you that you're missing some add-ons installed in that other version of Blender because you can run multiple versions of Blender like you, know, you see on the screen. I'm using 3.6, 4.0, 4.1, 4.2. And some of them share the same config fold, folder, some of them don't. So if you, for example, import settings from one Blender to another, you will have this notification that some add-ons may be missing, okay? Now, if you want to install external add-ons, add-ons that do not come with Blender, like hardups, box cutter, or the add-on I showed you before that fixes the modifier menu here, what you want to do is you want to click here and install from disk, and the rest is just the same. So simply install from a zip, and then, you know, save preferences and you're good to go. So that's the difference between installing add-ons in Blender 4.2 and above, and any Blender version before that, okay? So these are the major changes that you need to be aware of when you're going to be going through our courses. There's also one more minor change down to materials. Now, if you're in Blender 4.0, 4.1, or 4.2, or, you know, higher, when you add the mat to your mesh, it's going to be a bit different, right? Because you're going to have these collapsed menus in here that you need to expand in order to make this work. Now, let me just show you one thing. If you are using add-ons, and if you're using especially decal machine, if you, for example, add a decal to your mesh, right? Let's say like a text decal, okay? So let's add that. Let's go to Eevee so we can actually see this, right? 
and you want to change the color of this decal, the things are a little bit different. So if you're working in previous versions, so anything before 4.0, follow the instructions in the video in the course. But if you're working in later versions, you know, like 4.1, 4.2, etc., if you want to, for example, change the color of this decal, things are going to be a bit different. So what you need to do, select the decal, right? Then you want to go to surface and you want to click on color and you want to disconnect. And then you can actually adjust the color here uh, to your liking, all right? So you can do whatever you want with it. And of course, alpha setting is still in here, so that didn't change. Okay, well, that's it for the video. This should explain all the changes. And now if you have any questions, you get stuck. Remember that we have a public Discord with a help section. This Discord has almost 7,000 people. So if you type a question over there, you're gonna get helped very quickly. So use that. I'm gonna share the link here on the screen. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon.